off distractions. Get money, get manifest. Get money, off distractions. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is Emily MC, the rap MC. Hit you with a reflection of what I'm reading, yo. yo. Bible for your business and the reaping what you sow. Slap back. How you adapt and reaching all your goals. Boss shop selling, investing, and stacking grow. grow. Client retention, market and valuation pros. Better, Better know it's negotiating paperback and flow like. Uh oh. Look. Your account need help, your brand need juice, juice. Trying to be debt free, money walls loose, loose. Break it down. You should hit reset, uh. ghost and get legit Read, Read this, this book and think Randy Savage flex, flex. to the top of my Elizabeth Wop, wop, wop It's understandings over agreements, yeah bitch, yeah, bitch. Supporters yeah, bitch. ain't always your customers, bitch, yeah, bitch. Know that yeah, good bitch. credit don't fix income so many cold bulls for bass in the pitch. Don't get tripped and tangled. Walking into your friends and family. Right. Riding good for your services and offering service for good. You feel me? Show Perspective. Me. All to live a lifestyle that we never knew. We never knew. This book is revelations uh. for the rest. It go Halliburton. Peace and positives, y'all. This is Emily MC with another wrap and review for the Hustle. I've been waiting for a little minute to do this review because I'm really feeling this book. Perfect for 2020. <laughs> Everything going on, 2020 and beyond. This book is dope. It's 184 pages. It flies by, broken down into big four macro sections, mindset, business, investments, and negotiating. The thing about this book is it's not just fitting fast, like giving you real talk, real conversational and direct, also giving you how are you going to move out of it? How are you going to move forward? What are the building blocks? And not in a paint by numbers way, in a way that you can actually apply it to your personal situation, your personal goals, and what you want out of money, out of life, out of your work or the work that you have the opportunity to do or leverage. Each passage is marked by a business, like a literal business and their, and their online identity, which is really dope. Wanna be one of my favorite quotes from the book? Your time is worth more than what an employer is willing to pay for. I mean, I mean, these are things hopefully we all know. Never answer a question you don't fully understand. Hashtag investments over savings. Controversial yet valid valid directly from his consulting firm hashtag understandings over agreements but where is my quote though oh naysayers just show you how to promote your product that was one of those giants i could tell you stories about what i did once i read that invest your time and energy before you invest your money oh keys keys but where is my quote ah the laws were made to benefit corporations not individuals now what does that have to do with you and this book and why this is for you not a corporation the laws are made to benefit and incentivize the creation of businesses even the united states of america operates under a corporation named the united United States of America. Expand your business by owning your expenses. I really like that because it's talking about vertical and horizontal integration. Nipsey also used to talk a lot about, I mean, a lot of people did, but Nipsey's just on my spirit right now. As I, like I put in the description, a little snippet of the Goodreads uh, written review that you can check out. This to me is like a Nipsey Hustle goes to Harvard Business School to give a, a dope ass lecture. And he took that lecture and broke it down into pieces and, and did some like very rote things with it. I like it in a building blocks kind of way, but it's not catering to a diluted intelligence. It's not about the author's ego. It's very much about your uplift. When I first got the book, I was so excited because he, uh, the author, uh, Trevor, was, was posting all these things on Facebook about his his journey, about going to college and a whole others from New York to a whole other state and having all this experience. And I believe his mom's worked for the IRS for a bit, a minute, and always having an eye and mind for business. How money work, power and access work for me in the world today, and also technology. Love how this book has a has a very very unique perspective on 21st century money and technology, sales, marketing, quality of life through money, through investing, through the quality of life through your mind. I love that. You know, I'm all about that kind of shit. Just wanted to. No, he was talking about going to college and ha and having trades and certifications and all this stuff, but that even not to say he was broke. That's 
You don't want to say, you don't want to talk about people. But to say that he was severely underemployed still, highly unfulfilled, and still swimming in a lot of loan debt, which is like, <laughs> my whole generation <laughs> trust here. But that's what made everything hella compelling because somebody who's like, nah, bump that, I'm gonna get on my feet. I got a brain and I'm gonna use it. I got creativity, I'm gonna use it. I, I understand people, I'm gonna use it. I see things about the world, I like connecting dots. He, he teaches youth, he does seminars, you know what I'm saying? So I first sat down and was reading this book. I haven't been reading like that, so I like my rhythms is kind of off. So I was reading page, page after page after page for content, and it was a lot. It was a lot hitting me at once and realizing that the book was equipping me to learn and unlearn simultaneously. Plenty of spaces in here. But no taking, even though I would have appreciated a little more switch because sometimes I like to write in other areas. But that's dope because nothing, there's nothing better than going back to the book and seeing bad notes, you know, of, of of where you were in the moment with that. Yeah, not that I was getting overwhelmed, but it was just, it was a lot of information and a lot of reprogramming and reconditioning I realized I needed to do. Because of that, I wasn't able to neatly absorb everything that the book had to offer me. I felt like I wasn't optimizing the experience of the book. And I figured out why. Because I got to a chapter, I was stopped cold in my tracks because he was talking about something that just struck with an idea. You know, when you have an idea that you've been, you've been having this idea. I ran across a passage that was talking about exactly activating that idea and I was stuck. I basically drifted off into a tactical fantasy about this idea based on what and then uh, and then a bunch of stuff from other chapters that other passages that I read started clicking and that's when I realized I don't need to be reading this book front to back like that and then putting it down and then going about my life like, it's really dope I don't discourage reading this book front to back I think everybody should do it however this is business this is a holy grail this is a business reference this is a business bible you pick it up and there's chapters and verses and you read chapters and verses accordingly each one is catered it's like a it's like song. This, this is for protection. This is for prosperity. This is for abundance. This is for mastering one's thoughts. This is for controlling, the, you know, controlling the positive, controlling the negative. This, this is what this book does with business, with marketing, with sales, figuring out people's needs in your product and service, and a heavy emphasis on solution offers, value offers, empowering via creative writing. I'm just really sincerely doing. It. Love this cover. It's in the future, when we can feel through our eyes, future as in two months from now. When we yeah, we're wearing a 6G crazy shit. This cover is, is matte and it has like this smooth, like it feels good. It feels good and, and that's a really nice touch. You got a very low price with a bundle that includes his financial consulting services. Very well put together for what it is. I was feeling that, let me know if you've read the book or if you're trying to start a business, thinking about an idea that's burning inside. You know, drop me a comment on where you at with that. All right, peace.